Yeah. And we're back here on GMA, thrilled to have the stars mm -hmm. of the hit show, The Umbrella Academy here, Elliot Page, Emmy Raver Lantman. It's great to have you both in Times Square. So this show has just about everything. You've got superheroes, dark <laughs> comedy, <laughs> time travel. Last season, 1963. What can you tell us of where you're going to be this season? Well, this season, this um, wild and crazy family is trying to get back to the timeline that they left and ended up in the <laughs> 1960s. So they are trying to get back to, to where they were, hopefully. That's the plan. Where but you know, were. knowing the umbrellas, it never, <laughs> knowing the umbrellas, it never goes the way that anything is ever planned. <laughs> and we do know, Elliot, that your character transitions. So have you had input with the writers about that? Yeah, it was such an incredible experience with Steve Blackman, our amazing showrunner, and uh, incredible writer Thomas Page McBee, who uh, wrote on a miniseries I did mm -hmm. years ago called Tales of the City. He came on board and uh, just in incredible, incredible uh, uh, author, um, and uh, and I'm really proud of you know what what uh, we came. Uh, and what has reaction been so far? Because people are aware of. It. It's happening in the new season, which is great. Um, it's so far. It seemed really positive, Good. which <clears throat> makes me feel happy. And mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and in, in in terms of the representation and hopefully it meaning something to people. Great, definitely does. Let's take a look mm -hmm. at a clip. What? What do you? Well, if you think I'm not coming with you, you're insane. If you think I don't want you there with me, then you're even crazier. Since when are you the optimist? Making a few changes, I guess. I love that. Yeah, it's like that, that, was, that music mm, kind of makes you lean in a little yeah. bit. Like, mm. It's like something important. Yeah. Is right exactly. Now. Exactly. <laughs> so you all have known each other five years now, yes. going on five years. I mean, you said that Elliot really had an impact on you when you first started working together. I did. Um, Umbrella Academy was the first time I'd ever set foot in front of a camera, um, in a professional capacity, mm. and I, I felt very green, and I was so nervous, and I felt like I had so much weight on my shoulders that I was putting on myself. I, did, mm. I just didn't want to disappoint. I wanted to, I wanted to you know, deliver on, on, on the ask of taking on Alison Hargreaves and being in this show that's, you know, has an incredible source material of the graphic novels. There's mm -hmm. already a huge fan base. You know, I didn't want to disappoint anybody. And um, I'd met Elliot in Los Angeles a couple weeks before we started filming and we had coffee and just really hit it off. And, and I just always felt so safe and, and comfortable when we were on set together. He's just the best and I'm, I'm just so lucky, you know, getting to have the privilege to not only work with you, but call you one of my dearest friends. Oh, I feel you're having a moment. Forget the music. Ever, ever disappoint. Uh -huh. And neither the dance moves, okay? The dance scenes. And then, we don't want to give away because in the new season, the first episode, oh, it's on. Uh -oh. But can I ask you, Elliot, so who's the best dancer on the crew? Yeah. Definitely not this guy. Um, <laughs> That's not true. Uh, it's true. Uh, <laughs> Emmy's amazing and David's yeah. amazing. So I'd say that's those are the two most solid get through the rehearsals quickly. And <laughs> I'm the one who takes uh, uh, quite a lot longer to, to learn it. Yeah. But when you learn it, like you could probably do it now. It stays in there. I, once I do it, it's oh, done. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> For me, but I feel like he always remembers it years and years later. I'm like, how do you remember that? <laughs> it, 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 we did here, and I see you have, I heard you have 24 oh, tattoos. I do. So, are any of them <laughs> Umbrella Academy related? You know, I've always been. I've always not wanted to do that, and not you know, it's like not have something to to remember a job or whatever. But I having. Um, had the opportunity to kind of go back in time with Allison last season and be a black woman in the segregated South during Jim Crow and all the research that I did and kind of portraying a character who had lost her voice, which was her power, but also found her actual voice as a woman without her power. I actually, in my own personal journey, found my voice and started to learn how to take up space in this industry. And um, that was just a really important lesson to me and something that I will forever cherish. And I'm so grateful for Allison for that. I'm very so. proud of you. Yeah. Thank very proud you. of you for doing that. Thank you. And Elliot, how about you? Any umbrella? <laughs> Academy related <laughs> tattoos? No, I have a fair amount, but none, but uh, we've like talked about it before. Tonight? Oh, like, should we go tonight? 
Oh. I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> See, yes. the three came out tonight. Yes, we <laughs> should. Yes, okay, yeah, great, 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 great. The word was going to slip out. I'll but. make some calls. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. Hey, you guys are welcome back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Season three of the Umbrella Academy premieres today on Netflix. Mm. Thank you both very yeah. much. Of course. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.